first light, St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands. We're here at Mount Victory Camp. Gonna get out and see if we can do a little spear fishing. See if we can't round up some dinner for tonight. There's an astonishing array of fish in these waters, some of which are quite venomous, as we'll see later on. Both scorpion fish and lionfish are among the most venomous fish species in the world, but they also taste great.
Typically hunting these venomous species like lionfish and scorpion fish requires special containers to put them in. I didn't have one, which is why I left this one alone. We'll spear one later on and just keep it on the spear for safekeeping. Scorpion fish. That's gonna be dinner. Yeah, scorpion fish. So usually, like, they have some some tines that like, you don't want to hit those those tines right there. Yeah, he's got like a he's got like a, a venom that he that you get when you when you hit him in those uh, spines. But we're gonna see how to prepare him. So we got the uh, fire cooking down to coals and we're going to prepare the banana leaf for wrapping the fish in it. And uh, if we just wrap the fish in it as it is, it'd be too brittle and it would split along these little seams. So I'm going to wilt it over the fire so that it's more pliable and we can wrap the fish up in it cleanly. Oh wow. And then we're just going to slice it along each side and then we'll use one side per fish. And I usually double wrap them, but um, it holds the moisture really well and usually doesn't burn through. So once the leaf is dry, it works as a cordage material by itself. And so we'll take these dry leaves and then just split sections of them. And we'll use this to wrap or to tie the, the wrapped up fish with. My fingers burnt this morning still from that one. Cool needle bite. So yeah, I think we do that first. Mm -hmm. Man, that looks so good. I just want to eat that. I do too. I'm like, that's like some kind of salsa right there. there. Can you cook any kind of meat in the banana leaves? Pretty much. If you do enough layers, like the the, the moisture in the fish or in the meat, um, hold on. Uh, before tying it, pull it tighter. Uh, like that. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do multiple ties. Well, I was gonna do that, but but if it will, would you think it will? It, yeah, it'll reach around. And then we'll do a, the second one same way. The outer layer will burn a little bit, but the moisture that's in the fish will keep them from burning on the inside. All right, so we've got a nice bed of coals. We've got it raked out, but of course, 
as it has as the story has been lately it's going to start raining as soon as we want to start doing something but we got a piece of tin so Let's problem do it. solved Let's do it So we just want to throw these yep, right on there? Yep. Nice. Okay. Oh wait, that's on a potato. <laughs> Perfect. Sweet. Nice. Oh, Advice from the person that doesn't know what he's doing down here. <laughs> I'm just saying what I would do. I don't know if it's the right thing or not, but... <laughs> That's awesome. the sweet potatoes on there as well, Clay. Oh yeah, Carmen's got tougher fingers. She does. Man. Mm. I'm open. Yeah, that. Oh, that is freaking Donizo right there. That looks awesome. He's so done. Whoa. Hi, Mr. Scorpion Fishy. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> you want to see? Want some of that? Yeah. Sure, bud. Ew. Awesome. Here, you want to bite? Yeah. Taters? It's probably not too hot either. Mmm. Yeah. That is good. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Looking yeah. good. Very good. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna shoot it. everyone I see. It was great too. I'm like, they tried it raw. I didn't try it raw. And, and these guys don't run from you. No, not at all. They, they just, just sit, sit there. Right. They, they rely on their camo. 